हेलो एवरीबॉडी एंड वेलकम टू द धमाकेदार फराकेदार एंड मजेदार सेशन बाय वेदांत टू यंग वंडर्स माय नेम इज प्रीतेश एंड योर होस्ट योर दोस्त एंड अ प्राउड मास्टर टीचर फ्रॉम वेदांत टू वेलकमिंग यू टू योर ग्रेट सेवन वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर वेदर क्लाइमेट एंड एडाप्टेशंस ऑफ एनिमल्स टू क्लाइमेट वेयर वी विल बी लर्निंग व्हाट एग्जैक्टली इज वेदर व्हाट इज क्लाइमेट व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू what are the different kinds of animals living in different kinds of climates and how do they adapt to that particular climate like why does a camel live in the desert and a polar bear lives in the polar regions why does a monkey live on the trees where as a snake it slithers on the ground so all of that and a lot more we'll be learning in this very very interesting chapter weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate so let us begin but before we begin i want all of you to quickly open your instagrams i want all of you to quickly just take your phones and open your instagrams and follow me on instagram at pritesh_vidantu so i want all of you to follow me on instagram at pritesh_vidantu that's my insta handle where we can connect where we can grow uh, closer where we can uh, understand each other better and have a very very harmonious connection with each other now do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to vedant to young wonders it's absolutely free of cost and do share this video with your friends and school whatsapp groups and guys also they say that when it rains look for rainbows when it's dark look for the stars basically it tells you that look at the brighter side of everything when it rains look for the rainbow and when it's dark look for the stars it means that you should always you know uh, look at the best out of everything always see the glass half full not half empty is what this proverb means always be optimistic always be positive and always have a very very uh, you know love you zindagi type of an attitude towards life life is a beautiful journey the more you complicate it the more you overthink the less enjoyable it will be the more happier you are the more blessed you feel about yourself and the people around you and the environment around you the easier this journey is going to be so live your life king size now guys apart from that we are starting the chapter weather climate and adaptations of animals to climate but before that i want all of you to quickly go in the description of this video now let me tell you what all will you find when you go to the description of this particular video so as you go to the description you will come on this screen right you will be able to see this screen now when you look at this screen just go on the link which is given over here right just follow this particular link click here for class 7 cbsc i am sure you all enjoy learning from me navamita mohan sir sana ma'am hari priya ma'am uh, you know amit sir and all the amazing teachers are on vedant to young wonders but what if you get a chance to learn from them one on one what if you get a chance to be in their super interactive classes where you get to play the quizzes where you get to have fun with them where you get to talk to them where you get your doubts solved from them so why not have this beautiful amazing experience which vedant to is here to offer you and that too at a very 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 nominal cost Do you know how much? For how much you get to learn with us? That too, one on one in a live, uh, live class atmosphere, you get to learn with us for only rupees twenty. What? Yes, I'm right. For only rupees twenty, you get to learn from all of us. How? So you just go on this link which I showed you, and when you go on this link, you will land on this page. Right? You will be landing on this page. Now, when you land on this page, you can see that. from the 13th of june the ai live batch is starting of cbsc where you get live in class doubt solving right you get live in class quizzes and leaderboard you get vedant to improvement promise you get assignments and class notes you get all india test series and you also get the study material now what is the vedant to improvement promise vedant to improvement promise tells you that once you join vedantu we guarantee you an improvement in your score yes we guarantee you an improvement in your score and if you do not get an improvement then we will be refunding you your entire fees now 
the actual cost of this batch is rupees 9000 but you just pay rupees 8100 and you can start learning with us for the entire year in this rupees 8100 you get english you get math and you get science from your favorite master teachers of vedanta right only for rupees 8100 now how do you buy this so just click on buy now right and you have to put the coupon code prproc prpro is applied if you remove this prpro if you remove prpro the cost becomes 9000 but if you apply prpro you just put prpro here and you click on apply and bingo the cost has come down to rupees 8100 and you can pay through debit card, ATM card, credit card, net banking, phone pay, Google pay, Bhim UPI, Paytm, Amazon pay, Mobivit. There is also a no cost EMI option available. Now, I request you guys, I am requesting you guys that if any of you have any doubts, if any of you have any doubts regarding this, then I want all of you and your parents, <clears throat> I want all of you and your parents, if you have any doubts that you know how does this AI work, what is this AI, why not a live class, how are you giving it for 8100, what all I am going to learn in rupees 8100, if I pay now will I get the classes from the first chapter that is nutrition in plants. So if you have any doubts then you can see that there is a whatsapp number that is going below. There is a whatsapp number that is going below just send a hi on that whatsapp number our team will connect with you and all your shankha ka samadhan ho jayega. But remember to use PRPRO. So PRPRO is your key to the discount. Dekho, bahut hi simple sa fanda hai. We are Indians. We need discount in everything. Agar hume free mein bhi kuch mil raha hai, to us mein bhi hume discount chahi hota hai, right? So remember, PRPRO. Ye ek aisa code hai, jo aapko direct 10% off dewa dega. Direct 10% off. So the actual cost of rupees 9000, this means you have 900 minus ho jata hai and you only pay rupees 8100. Only pay rupees 8100. Right? And in that you are getting such a beautiful way of learning. So why not take it guys? Why not take it? Try karke to dekho 8100 is not something which is lifetime money. Right? Even if you go to a good restaurant, you with your parents, you will end up spending say 7 to 800. Right? And at least you will go once every month. So even if you calculate for 10 months, even if you go every month to a restaurant and you pay rupees 800, then too it goes more than 8100. So ek baar try karke to dekho, right? Is mahine birthday pe thodi sasti dress le lena. Ask for a smaller gift. But please convince your parents to invest this amount. This is not an expense. This is an investment. Invest this amount and your life is going to be sorted. Trust me on that. Right? So 8100 may your learning is sorted. Mera pen kaan gaya. Yeah. So it's here. So remember the AI life courses for all of you. And now we come back to the session where we are talking about uh, weather, climate and adaptations of animals to climate. Now what is weather? Weather is something jo aapko roz news channel pe dekhne ko milta hai. It is the mausam ka hal which changes every hour which changes in a day, which changes the morning is different, evening is different. Many times it happens, especially for people who are living in Bangalore, you might be very, very accustomed to it that morning it's sunny, but by evening it starts raining. So what changed? The weather changed. So what is weather? The weather of a place can be the measure of its daily atmospheric conditions. So, the daily direction of the wind, the daily temperature, the daily humidity, the daily rainfall, these are the atmospheric conditions which change every hour, which changes every few hours. And that is why on the news channel, every day you see the Mausam Ka Hal, the weather forecast. What do you see every day on the news channel? You see the weather forecast every day on the news channel. So, what is weather? It is the atmospheric conditions of a place. And the elements of weather are rainfall, temperature, humidity, snowfall, storms, winds. The speed of the wind, the rainfall, the temperature and humidity. These four are the main elements of weather. As per your NCRT, the main elements of weather are rainfall, temperature, humidity, wind speed. Wind speed. Right? So, 
rainfall which you measure using a rain gauge temperature you measure using a minimum and a maximum thermometer wind speed you measure using an anemometer and humidity i guess you measure using an hygrometer i am not very sure right so these are the different elements of the weather now what do you mean by humidity how will you define humidity so humidity can be defined as humidity can be defined as the amount of the amount of water vapor present in the air the amount of water vapor present in the air is called as humidity the amount of water vapor present in the air is called as humidity theek hai so that is all about humidity and now we move ahead further and we talk about other parts of the weather we talk about other parts of the weather so factors determining weather the temperature humidity wind speed and rainfall so as i told you there are four elements of weather who decide the weather of a place that is the temperature heat absorbed or heat released humidity wind and the rainfall all of this depends on the sun so the sun and the earth their interaction will decide the weather of a place there are different uh, instruments to measure the different elements of the weather like the thermometer for temperature barometer for air pressure hygrometer for water vapor as i told you rain gauge for rainfall anemometer for wind speed and wind vane wind vane is for the wind direction now the wind vane is not generally like this only you can also have a uh, you know a ring and a long cloth along the wind a very very light cloth so the cloth in which direction the cloth gets blown that tells you the direction of the wind so thermometer barometer hygrometer rain gauge anemometer and wind vane these are the different instruments that help us to determine the different uh, elements of the weather weather can be sunny it can be rainbow stormy rainy partly cloudy cloudy snowy or windy so this is how you this is how the meteorological department of india releases the weather report every day it changes every hour also at times and that is how you can read it so this uh, is the weather report which shows that the current temperature is 31 but it feels like 36 even though it is 31 it feels like 36 because it is cloudy usually you feel hotter than what is the reading showing when there is too much of cloud when the heat is not able to escape into the sky when the heat on the surface of the earth is not able to escape that time the temperature rises and that happens when it is cloudy and humid you also feel humid so the wind speed is 15 km per hour humidity 74% i told you it is also very very humid because it's cloudy the water vapor and the heat is not able to escape out so it feels very hot and you also feel very sticky and humid indoor humidity is 74 dangerously humid the dew point is 26 degree pressure is 1005 mb cloud cover is 45% visibility is 2.8 km and clouds are at 12200 meters that is 12 uh 12 kilometers from the surface of the earth what are the where are the clouds they are at 12 kilometers from the surface of the earth and this report is released by the meteorological department of india meteorological department of india they study the weather and the climate pattern so here is the uh, weather report of india for a particular day delhi's five day forecast so on january 4th 5th 6th 7th 8th they have given you the sunrise and the sunset timing they have given you the maximum and the minimum temperatures they have also given you the average humidity and the outlook so you will see that the temperature goes minimum up to 5 degrees and maximum up to 19 degrees if you see overall so where are we we are in bangalore so where the temperature is 16 degrees minimum it is 6 degrees in delhi where the temperature is 26 degrees maximum it is 19 degrees in delhi so delhi is far colder as compared to bangalore if you compare the coastal regions like mumbai so 20 is the minimum temperature which is quite pleasant and 32 is the maximum temperature srinagar goes to minus 2 and plus 5 right so depending on the geography depending on where a particular place is located the weather changes 
because weather is dependent on the wind speed, rainfall, humidity and temperature. And these four factors are dependent on the geographical conditions. How above are you from the sea level? How nearer you are to the sea? How under you are the sea level? So all these factors, the geography helps to, uh, you know, take care of the four elements of the weather. Then the graph showing the variation of maximum temperature. So the maximum temperature on 3rd August 2006 went to 26, 23, 25, 22, 25, 23, 24. So you can see that every day also the maximum temperature of a particular region is changing. Every day the temperature is changing by 1 or 2 degrees. The weather report of a place always includes the minimum and maximum temperature which are measured using a minimum and maximum thermometer. Now I'll give you a very very important piece of information that when is the minimum and maximum temperature recorded. It's not that when the person who is recording feels hot, yeah, now I'm feeling very hot, Chalo, let us record, ha, this is the maximum temperature. No, there is a fixed time, there is a fixed time and a fixed methodology to measure the maximum and minimum temperature. The minimum temperature is recorded just before sunrise at dawn. Before sunrise, the minimum temperature is recorded and at 12 in the noon, the maximum temperature is recorded. So the minimum temperature is recorded at dawn before sunrise and the maximum temperature is recorded at noon in at 12 o'clock. What is climate? It is the average weather pattern taken over a long time, say 25 years of a particular area. Suppose the temperature of Rajasthan is generally high throughout the year and it does not reach to receive much rainfall. So we can say that Rajasthan has a hot and dry climate. So what is the difference between weather and climate? So weather, weather changes every hour. Now you take the average of 25 years and that will be the climate. So for 25 years, when we were studying the weather of Rajasthan, we found out that Rajasthan is generally very hot. The temperature is usually very high and also it does not receive much rainfall. So I can say that Rajasthan has a hot and dry climate. Similarly, if I talk about Kerala, so Kerala has hot and wet climate because it rains for many, many days in the year. There are different climate zones on the earth. You have the temperate zone, the tropical zone and the arctic zone. Arctic zones are usually very, very cold. Temperate are a little better and tropical are the perfect ones for life. And that is why you will find maximum species in the Amazon rainforest. Why? Because it has a tropical climate. This climate that is tropical, which is between 25 to 35 degrees Celsius, it is perfect for any kind of life, whether it is microorganisms, whether it is plants, whether it is animals. So it is perfect for life. And that is why the rainforests have too much of biodiversity because of the amazing climate. This is the information of climate of Jammu Kashmir and Kerala. So you will see when you look at the average, when you look at the average of Jammu Kashmir and Kerala, so you can say that Kerala has a very hot and wet type of a climate, whereas Jammu Kashmir also has moderate climate. So uh, sorry, Kerala has moderate climate. Now when you see Kashmir, Kashmir is cold and moderately wet because it also rains. When I say UP, it is hot and wet. When I say Kerala, hot and wet. Rajasthan hot and dry. Assam has wet climate because mostly it's raining throughout the year. You know the wettest place in the world? Earlier it was Cherapunji in Meghalaya, but now it is Monserim. How did it shift from Cherapunji to Monserim? Because Cherapunji was the wettest place in the world. It used to rain 365 days that too very very heavily. Now because of this, because being the wettest place, it attracted a lot of tourism. So when because the tourism started increasing, the area, the region of Cherapunji started getting polluted. Because of the excessive pollution, the rainfall started reducing. And now the next wettest place was Monserim. So Monserim came on number one and Cherapunji came on number two. Let's see till when Monserim remains number one. Because again now because it is the wettest, uh, it, will, it will attract tourists. Because tourism will increase, again the pollution might increase and then you know. Recently, I read a post on Instagram on how the entire Kedarnath Valley and the Mandakini, the Mandakini, I guess, yeah, the Mandakini River only, if I'm not wrong, uh, or maybe whatever the river flows there, I don't want to give false information. So the river and the Kedarnath Valley is filled with plastic and garbage 
because of the tourists. Now the tourists have to cover almost a 8 or 18 kilometer of stretch on road by walk to, re to reach the Kedarnath temple and every year lakhs of Hindu uh, devotees they go to visit the Kedarnath temple but what do they bring along with them? They bring the blessings but what do they leave there? They leave garbage and thrash and that is what is the condition of the Kedarnath valley. So the environmentalists and the, uh, you know, the activists are trying to, uh, you know, get in terms with the government to completely ban plastic in that region. Let's see, let's hope that we find a greener and a better planet in the coming years. Okay, so coming back to weather and climate, just like we know that rainfall, temperature, humidity and wind speed, these are the elements of the weather. Similarly, altitude, latitude, geography and topography. These are the four factors that affect the climate. If you are at a height from the sea level, usually the temperature will be lower. That is why in summers we go to hill station. Why do we go to a hill station in summer? Why don't we go to a desert or a beach in the summers? Because on hill stations the temperature is lower. Right? Why Delhi is very dry but Mumbai is very wet? Because Delhi is very away from the sea. Mumbai is just next to the sea. So, Again, the vicinity from the sea, that also has a lot of impact. Average weather over a long period of time is climate. The daily conditions in temperature and rainfall is the weather. It is influenced by the slow changes in the land, ocean, orbit and the sun. It can change very rapidly day to day and year to year. Fundamentally, it is controlled by the balance of energy of the earth and atmosphere. The changes involve temperature, rainfall, wind speed and clouds. So, a detailed quiz based on whatever we learned today, whether, what is weather, what are the elements of the weather, maximum and minimum temperature. I also told you when the maximum and the minimum temperatures are recorded. Along with that, we learned about climate. It is the average of 25 years of weather, the factors that affect the climate. And we also discussed a little bit about uh, the different types of climate, like hot and wet, hot and dry, wet, etc, etc. A quiz on all this is given in the description of this video. Please go, the first link in the description will be the link to the V quiz. So please solve the V quiz and let me know in the comment section how was your experience solving the V quiz. Also guys, do not forget PRPRO is the coupon code that will help you to get a 10% discount and learn with me, Nabamita, Mohan, Hari Priya, uh, you know, Amit sir, Sana ma'am and all the amazing teachers of Vedantu Young Wonders. Whether they are on Vedantu Young Wonders or just a part of the Vedantu Master Teachers family, you can learn with all of us that too in a very very amazing manner. So use PRPRO and remember this year a cheaper dress, a cheaper gift but a good investment in Vedantu is going to help you get a smile. Right? So 8100 is your key to a better score in your grade 7. So do enroll. I'll be waiting for you in my regular classes. Till then guys, thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience. God bless all of you. Lots of love. Read your NCRT. Take care. Bye-bye.